So this is a video on how to conduct the values assessment for Focus T career. And um, we're here in our MyJP dashboard. Of course, mine may look a little different than yours because I'm an instructor. Um, we're going to start here on the side here where it says shortcuts. Um, you're going to go down to where it says tools and you're going to go to everyday tools. You're going to click on this little arrow and toggle that. You're gonna to have to cruise down and click show more. That's why I'm showing you more because it's kind of tough to find. Focus to career is located here. You're gonna click on it. Okay, so you're going to go to the values assessment. I already completed this assessment. It's pretty simple. You go in, you follow the instructions. Okay, so you'll you'll click here to begin um, or you can restart it. But I'm just gonna show you, um, you'll follow the directions to complete the assessment. Once you're done, these are the photos you need. So you're gonna have two photos, ready? So the first photo I'm going to, so I have a Mac, so I press Command Shift 4. If you're on a PC, uh, it's print screen. If you have another type of PC, you can always look up on the internet how to do a screenshot. Hopefully you do know how to do that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot of my selected values here. I chose artistic creati creativity, helping others and independence. Um, I'm also including down here where it says, no occupations match all three values you've selected and occupations that match two values you selected. So I'm going to just take a picture of that. Okay, so if you have occupations that match all three values, please take a photo or photos that include all of those. So if there was like a page of it, take the whole page. Um, that may be, mean more than one screenshot, okay? If you don't have all three values and you only have occupations that match two, you're gonna give me the top three from the ones that match two. For those of you who have those top three ones or the ones that match all three, you don't even need to bother with the just two values, got it? So if you have three or occupations that match all three values, you'll take pictures of all of them and include all those screenshots. And you won't have to worry about occupations that only match two values. But if like you're like me right now where you have no occupations that match all three values, you're gonna take a picture of your top three that match your two values and include that. So they, you may have two screenshots or you may have four. It just depends on how many careers match the three values, okay? And if you have just the two values, you're just gonna choose those, include those top three. Okay, so now you have your two screenshots. You're gonna go ahead and go back to the assignment in Canvas. So um, let's see, do I even have Canvas open? I don't think I do. Okay, I'm gonna go to Canvas. Here we are. Okay, I'm going to guidance three. I'm gonna go find the assignment. So I can't do it in uh, your view yet because I actually don't have this assignment posted yet for you. So this is gonna look a little different than yours, but the assignment is the values assessment. As you can see, I have to don't even have it turned on yet because I'm making the video for the assignment as we speak. Okay, this is the old um, version of the assignment, but basically, you're gonna include the same thing. So the values assessment, your top three, you're gonna include that photo, and then you're gonna include a photo that it includes all the results for the top three. So as you can see here, um, it looks a little different because the format has changed, and I it required for me one, two, three, four screenshots to get all of my careers that matched all three of my values when I was doing it a little differently because it looked like I had helping others, artistic creativity and creativity. So it's a little different. So you'll have this screenshot with the results from your assessment and then you'll have results from the top three values. And if you don't have that, you'll have the top three careers from the top two or the two values. I hope that makes sense. Sometimes I wonder if I make sense at all. If I don't make sense, please text me, 909-224-1204. Email me, Amy Borgi, or I'm sorry, Amy, period, Borgi, at chafee.edu. You can't forget the period in between um, the first and last name. Okay, so you're gonna be getting graded on, uh, looks like the rubric down here. So um, what I'm gonna be doing here, I'm gonna doctor this up just a tad. So I'm going to have two values here. The first one will say, that you've completed the assignment where you've completed this photo. So this photo, the values assessment, is gonna be your first 20 points. And then the occupations that match either three of the three values or two of the three values, I will give 20 points here. So you'll get 20 points for that first photo and 20 points for the series of photos that you include for the three 
the ones that match all three values or for the top three occupations that match two values. Okay, that's it. Once you have, um, I guess, turned in that assignment with those, you'll be um, all set to go. And again, if you have any questions, have a wonderful rest of the day and I will catch you on the next Focus to Career assignment. Bye.